All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching Tokyo Revengers episode five. Uh, I do not have anything to say for the start of the episode, but as you guys know, if you've been following my previous reactions, I'm super, super hyped for every one of these episodes. I'm really enjoying the anime so far. It's definitely got that kind of, I don't know, something about it that's just really, really awesome for me, and I'm definitely looking forward to the rest of it. I've been so, so, so tempted to pick up the manga just off the first, even off the first three episodes, I was like, I really, really want to, I really want to know what's going on, like, right, right now. Um, but, uh, and I've, I saw, like, I saw, um, there was no, there's nothing spoilerish, I'm pretty sure, so it's fine. Um, uh, but I saw some of the manga panels, um, from the manga, obviously, and the art was, oh, the art, the art was super crisp, super nice. It definitely, it gave, some of the art gave me kind of sunken rock vibes and it was just, it really, it's, I'm very interested in the story, bottom line. Um, but I'm not going to, it'll, can be, it'll mess with my reactions, so I'm just, putting my foot down and I'm sticking to the anime for now um but yeah anyway guys enough of my rambling um as always like the video if you like the video and subscribe to the channel if you want you and let's go into the episode right now what <laughs> oh that's true he did disappear <laughs> oh shit he needs to find a job honestly I think she'd probably believe him if uh if he's told her this she already thinks there's something different about him. So he was in middle school when we saw him? What the hell? Third year in middle school. Still, that's very young. That's like, what, 15? What the hell? Ken looks a lot older than that. Oh shit, he dies in two weeks? Yeah, they were like best buds. What the fuck? Yeah, there has to be. There has to be more to it. And I feel like it would take a lot to be able to kill Jadakin. Like, he is a beast, it looks like. Bro, I'm down with this mission. I don't want him to die. That's what I'm thinking. I feel like Jadakin dying is the trigger for Mikey to kind of lose it. Let's go. Let's fucking save them all. What I just want to mention now um is i hope it's something i'm not kind of wishing into reality um i'm not wishing but you know what i mean however i don't know if the manga's already finished or not so it, it may have already happened i don't know but the idea of bringing akun back um and how it works with the whole time travel logistics um if he successfully stops him in the past from doing what he's going to do to kind of you know go further into the tokyo manji gang um, is he just going to reappear in the present and it's like he never died? Or is it going to be kind of a different parallel universe kind of thing where he still doesn't exist because this has still happened, but in a different universe, he exists. I don't want that to happen. But then again, Nato is alive right now and he wasn't previously, I think. So it can be changed, I think. But I'm trying not to think too much about it. So let's just get right back into it. Oh. Oh. What? Oh. What the fuck? What's going on? Who's this? I thought it was Hinata. Who are you? <laughs> what the? Who is she? <laughs> He's gone. I'm glad he ran away. I don't know what the hell that was, but he does not need to be dealing with that. <laughs> oh, you got out of there as fast as you could, bro. He has no idea what he's doing. That's the point. Does she know? Does she know? I really do want to know what he's like in between him coming back as an adult. Like, he must be completely different personality-wise. Yeah. So how is it developed into this situation? Who is that? It's annoying that he doesn't uh, uh, retain his past memories of what his past self has done in this time. Uh, 
Hey, let's go. <laughs> I'm glad it wasn't like, no, no, you go, it's fine. I'll be fine on my own. She's like going with him. I like that. I like that a lot. I wonder how these two originally broke up then in the past. Was he just not paying attention and paying attention to her like a dumbass middle schooler would? Yo, actual motorbikes. Let's go. Who'd have thought? A biker gang, huh? <laughs> Ooh, who's this? Second division captain. Ah. Hey, what up? Oh, he's so nice. What the hell? No, it isn't. Oh my god, it's her. Oh my god, who is she? Who is it? His sister or something? Oh my god, it can't be. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Wow, okay. That's interesting. Ah, so it's not Jake and sister then, I guess. Yeah, apparently not. <laughs> Middle school you without an adult brain is clearly a stupid idiot. <laughs> oh my god, they've really got Takimichi walking with those two, man. Oh, wow. What is going on? <laughs> He's got the brain of a water flu. Yeah, what are these guys fucking born in for? Get lost. No, what? Hold the phone. They beat his ass. Did that to his girlfriend and then hung his family? Are they serious? Like, hung, like, I'm not misinterpreting those choice of words. They hung his family. What? So, this is like a biker gang, and then that gang sounds like some real Yakuza type of shit. He's got a he's got his head on straight, but I can understand why he's so angry. Bro, Mikey's a boss. This is a fucking leader right here, bro. Holy shit. August 3rd. Oh no. So his time is the past changing, or what's happening? <laughs> that is a lot. That is a big sentence for you, bro. <laughs> he does not need a bodyguard. <laughs> of course she did. Why would he need a bodyguard? I fucking love Mikey, bro. <laughs> Shuriken comes prepared with a lot of flags for him. Bro, how does this dude lead an entire gang? <laughs> oh. You'd look at these two and think. Draken has to be the one um, to be the leader. Like, <laughs> Are we visiting that guy that got beat up? That is so fucked up, man. How is Mikey dealing with this situation? Mikey, you need to keep your head on straight. Well... They're both right. This is brutal, man. 
These two are real as shit, bro. Yes, uh, real as shit, both of these guys. Yeah, because Draken wasn't there to bring him back to planet Earth, I guess. Yes, literally. There's absolutely no way. Like, what happened? With every episode these two are in now, it makes me like them so, so much more. Like, Draken being how he is, and Mikey's personality being this kind of explosive, great leader, but kind of lacks, like, the kind of compassion that Draken gives him, and Draken helps him with, like... These two, as a leader and like vice leader, vice commander, I guess, to each other, they they pair really, really well. And that, plus them two being like best friends, it's a really, really awesome pair. And I can't for the life of me understand why there would be any kind of beef, uh, supposed beef on the kind of August third day. I don't know what's going to happen between factions, but. Yeah, I love these characters. Like, holy shit, they're awesome. Um, I really hope Takemichi's able to save Draken. Um, I keep changing how I say his name. Is it Draken, Draken, or Draken? Like, how do I pronounce this? <laughs> do I just pronounce it how I want? Or I, I, I love. I just like the character. I want to. I want to say his name right. But um, yeah, that's all I have to say, and that is that. So anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I certainly did. I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice rest of your day, and peace out.